I remember before we, uh, 1952 when we came to the States, uh, Donnie Nuss used to uh, gather us under a tree and tell us the plots uh, of movies he had seen when he went to Durban. With a handheld smartphone, you could sit there and... Put it all into the With a handheld smartphone, I could probably like. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, zap. Boop. Boop. Yeah. Huh. What about TV? Do you remember the first time you saw TV? Yeah, in London, 1952. Uh, this tiny goddamn little box. Uh, I would watch, um, I watched a couple of documentaries. I watched, uh, one half episode of, of Weed. I, you know, I was uh, real scared of Russians at the time. And I'd had, I had, early on, I had uh, dreams about truckloads of Russians just chasing me in the bush. But I always knew where I could hide. I have this glass plate and then these lenses that are moving around on top of it and then below the lenses there's like these two transparencies that have black lines and then so like when when the transparencies move like this that's really trippy mm. and then the lenses moving around on top of them like you know distort and like bulge parts parts of the pattern great big strong guy with a big fucking hammer and there's this huge gun Bong. And that's and then the movie starts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, J. Arthur Rank, uh, with it, with the guy comes in. Uh, it's a British company. It comes in with a big gong and a hammer and goes bong. And then you know it's J. Arthur Rank. There, I got hit on the head in Washington. And uh, by those kids at the club, I said it was like, like uh, J. Arthur Rank. Bong! And then I was out. J. Arthur Rank is the is a company where that has the bell that goes bong.